hello it's Sarah happy Valentine's Day um, I have quite a lot I want to share but I figured I just filmed this but I think I my dog was crazy and I had to redo it but I wanted to start with this this is the um, card that I made for Joe and I just really think it's sweet it, it's Zen dangled so it's um, the style uh, that Joanne Fink I got her new book and I think it turned out really cool. I made it into a house and I put for my special guy up in there. And then these are the rods that go across, it says in her book. And then I just made dangles with a bunch of hearts. And then in the door it says home family love. And I colored it in with all my different jelly roll pens and glaze pens. I put XOXO down there and hearts up the side. Um, I just think it turned out really cute. So that's that. He liked it too. Um, I've been working on uh, polymer clay tiles. Um, I started with these and I kind of had the idea. I've been looking at Pinterest and Google for mosaic mosaics, okay? And I've done mosaics before. I've used, I've done them with glass and tile, um, and polymer clay tile, but, um, these were cool. I was, they're more, um, brighter colors, pastel colors. Um, the class I took with Lori Micah was very kind of, I want to say like gothic, a lot of black and gold, and I like that, but, um, I wanted to try the lighter color, so I started stamping and making tiles, and I had a love theme in mind, and um, so I have all you need is love, kisses, hugs, hearts, roses, dance to your own music, None, and as you can see, I didn't use them, because it kind of just didn't come together. I wasn't loving the way the pinks and reds were taking the mica, pa the mica powders or the... Um, I mean, like, this looks pretty cool. That looks very pastel. Like, I will definitely use these. There's a few. I don't like the, I didn't like the red. I don't know why. Like, I'm not necessarily a red person. I mean, I kind of like how that turned out, too. This is more of a dark pink. It's like a glittery pink. But, like, for me, sometimes, I mean, I just have to like it, too. I can't just create if I don't like what I'm coming up with. And then I... Like, see how the blue just looked kind of, I don't know. I love that color blue, but then it just didn't pop. I, I was used to working with the black tiles. So, um, also, along those lines, like, this was one of the ones I really liked. Follow your heart, right? Um, I love Live, Love, and Laugh, too. Like, I actually, I like this. And the girls just want to have fun. Like these, I could see using... Where the heck is... Where's the heck? Where's the heck is it? Um, I don't know. I lost, Here it is. Like these, I kind of like. I kind of like these. I kind of could see these on a piece. But, um... Okay. So, then I started thinking, No, I'm going to make my own words for sayings. I'm just going to move this aside and put these back in the drawer. I'm going to make my own words with my letter tiles. So then I started to do that using these I got, and I don't think I've really ever used them, maybe a couple times. I got two packs of them. This was when I took the seminar with Lori Micah, and I'm sorry guys, I don't remember where I got them. I know I ordered them online, and she recommended their china. I don't know, but they attach. Like, you can just make the word, attach them, and they stay together and, and stamp your word. So I use them. I have these little tiny ones. Um, these are from Michael's, I think, that I was um, doing the word tiles with. I'll show you, like this. Oh, no, that's the, <laughs> this one. No, that's a stamp, too. Anyway, I, I have, when I did my Bottles of Hope. Oh, never mind. Anywho, and then I have these. I actually got these when I was doing, um, like, cobble, what are they called when you make them for your garden? Like your garden stones or whatever? These were recommended for that. These are, like, really deep. So you have to be careful when you're using these that you don't push too hard because they go right through. 
Oops, but then I got these at my, um, yeah, Michael's. I think they were like on clearance for $1.99 and they're like a recollection set. But see, look at the font. It's just this really cool, different font. And I really loved it. So I got those. So I was just mixing and matching and playing. And I actually just got um, a couple tiles out of the oven. So I'll show you what I did before I show you the project. But this is a couple of um, word tiles that I made. So like girls, like I could see this on a, on a piece, right? Just want to have something like that fun right so you put that like on a plaque and then fill it in with like girly towels around it right like maybe a princessy one and crowns and different things like that maybe even like a drink one um something like that so i'm gonna see what i have i'll rummage through my stash and find things to go with that and then this one just says life is beautiful and then like i made all these inchies with the flowers that you could kind of fill in with that and then just maybe put like um just different things that make me happy you know i ha i just got these cool bird stamps i'll show you those in a minute um but, um, I mean, flowers, why not? Like, just beautiful things. So, anyway, I made those. So, that's where my where I started going was with that theme. And this is the project that I came up with. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you on the wall first. I mean, it's not the brightest area. But I want to see. I want you to see it. So, my walls are yellow. And this is not bright at all because it's behind my desk. It says smile, life is good. And it's done with browns. Um, it's like a tealy blue or a turquoise blue. And then I had these pinks in my stash, so I used them, those four pinks. So that's what it looks like on the wall. I like it. So I'm gonna bring it down, show you in more detail. So I got this at um, AC Moore. And it's kind of like one of those, it's a plaque, but it has, um, oh, good night. You already said good night. <laughs> it's Maya. Good night. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Say good night to Kobo. I'm always interrupted. See, this is what happened. Kirby kept running in here last time or ball. Anyway, so, um, I did smile. Life is good, right? So that was my theme. Yeah, to get her out. Thank you. Um, and then these are the birds I was telling you about. And I just got these. These were on clearance. I want to say $2.99 these were. But they're Inka Dinka Do stamps. I got these three birds, which are so cute. And they're more of like a deep etched. Because sometimes, like, say you use, um, like, a rubber stamp like this on clay. And I do. But sometimes they're not as deep you know what I mean? So that they don't leave, oh, excuse me, as deep of an impression into the clay. So you need those nice, um, the, the more, I don't know, etched, deep etched, they call them. These were pretty good, though. These worked pretty good. And then I got sugar skulls. These are super cute. So these were $2.99 at my AC Moore. They're all different. They're so cute. And my battery's blinking. So, um, Anywho, I played those up. So I did, I knew I had the three birds. Yes, Maya. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three birds. Smile, life is good. I did some like additional brown pieces with just like a swirly pattern, just a background pattern. Um, and then, like I said, I had these pink ones in my stash, these four that I already had. I also had this, um, like, smile face, this, ugh, this moon face in my stash that I'd already done. And thought, oh, I'm adding that in there just to change it up. And then I just grabbed a pack of blue clay and just started stamping random stuff. So a lot of the little affirmation words are on there. 
This is the leather, the tooled leather. Okay, I had to change my battery and my, uh, that's the thing, like I got so many interruptions the first time I filmed this, it just was like crazy. And this time, all right, hopefully everyone's done. That's why I waited to make it. But um, I wanted to tell you one more thing too. I used um, this, the Enamel Accents by Ink Essentials to do their little eyes. Let's see their eyes. I put like a little three-dimensional black dot in their eyes. I don't know. I just think they're so cute, those birds. So anyway, I like it. I think I really like the placement and it turned out it's pretty much what I was hoping for. These little bird stamps too. Like I just pulled, these are actually old stamps that I've had. These are like when I first started stamping clearance stamps. The recollections I'm pretty sure, but this I can't believe like I totally used this like whole set. Um, for Oh, I love the mushrooms too. I made mushrooms, but I didn't use them. Look, it has mushrooms. I think there's a gnome. These flowers. I used this on my other project. I'll show you that in a minute. This little bird and this little butterfly or whatever. Yeah, butterfly. I don't think I used him. Flower and the bird. But I made tiles anyway. Like you just make a bunch of tiles, all different sizes bake them. You can add, and then I'll show you what I'm going to show. I've had some questions about the um, ink of gold. I'm going to show you. I got some new colors. So I'm just going to show you what they look like. There are these metallic rubs, and they're kind of like, I want to say, um, rub and buff. It's more like rub and buff, and rub and buff is, um, it comes in these tubes, and I've had these forever. They sell this at Michael's. This is rub and buff, Grecian gold, and silver. Oh, I have silver. No, I wanted white. Um, no, I was thinking of my sugar skull. Sorry. Um, but I've had these forever, so it's kind of along these lines. I don't want to get. I just got a new thing in. I don't want to get it messy, so I got to be careful. But you kind of just barely squeeze it and get a little bit on your finger, and then you gently rub over the um, the clay. I'll show you on this beautiful here. And it just, see I already put the um, purple on, but it will, um, see it took a little bit of that gold. I really didn't push hard. Um, but anywho, um, these, the, the Inca golds come in a lot of colors. I had the copper, the green, um, and the purple, and gold. I had these four colors. And then I just got these two blues. One is called Cobalt. This is Steel Blue and this is Cobalt. Uh, lava Red and Orange. So I would love to get other colors like white. A white would be fantastic because like I said for the Sugar Skulls. Because it's just it's thicker. It's more like a paint. I'm going to have to watch some videos. Oh, it says it's a fast drying metal gloss paint. So I'll bet you if you just add this to water a little bit, you could ink it up. And But I also have the other, oh, never mind. I'm going off the subject. But so I've been enjoying them. Um, all right. So then I also did another project. I think that was all I wanted to say about that, this one. This is one of those, um, laser cut pieces of wood that's at Michael's. They have a ton of it in again, and a lot of it's spring um, related. Uh, I just thought, I was looking for cheap pieces of wood, and it, it was like $3.99, I think, and I thought, well, let me try that. I painted it the raw sienna color because I thought I was gonna do the brown and pinks again, but then I had so many more black tiles. Um, I had made all those inchies the other day, and then today I made another batch. I made some that I just left plain that I'm gonna wait to see what I um, what the project is and then I'll put stuff on that. I made this one. I just made like random some filler tiles. It's really good when you're making tiles to make some of this size, I'll show you. So <laughs> just do a big background stamping, right? And then cut 
just cut it into a bunch of different sizes like I did a swirly one because this is what you use for your filler so once you start placing all your tiles like your puzzle you can use these to fill in like look I cut a little piece there a little because you can cut the clay with your scissors I filled in here I filled in here I filled in here and then I've been starting to try and make just little tiny tiles like I have this flower tile that I cut apart and I made some individual flowers so I have tiny ones just to fill those random places that um, you know the gaps that you're gonna have so that's kinda like a, um, a medium tile up there um, so yeah so this one turned out pretty cool this is the flower one I was talking about and this one I put stickles on I put a lot of stickles on definitely on my um, sugar skulls I kinda put it in the middle of the flowers just made it really colorful and put love Dea, Dia de los Muertos so the day of the dead so I think it turned out pretty cool and then I just rubbed the the Inca gold all over the wood too like on the black of the wood so I'll hang that one on the wall and I'll show you what that looks like and that's about it I think I'm gonna look through my um, stamps and try to find some life is beautiful and girls just want to have fun and I might do some stamping in gold clay I want to try like the more metallic -y clays for tiles so that's what that looks like let's see if... it looks pretty cool like on the yellow wall that really pops I like the black clay a lot but it is so dark and I mean but now that I have the Inca gold you can make it brighter but you can really see the depth like the detail of those like the heart the butter like everything just really pops when you're stamping that's what I like about the black all right you guys so that's what I've been up to um trying to think yeah I showed you Joe's card um, I've been doing some reorging in here too, just getting things um, displayed and I put a little shelf in and stuff. Um, but anyway, I've definitely been working with my clay. The classes, I'm not really, the last class they had for um, Palmer Clay Adventure was Teresa Pandora Salgado and she has a YouTube channel and she's um, into caning like really extreme caning and I haven't really done very many canes even the basic cane so I have to really start at the basics for that first um, so I just skipped I didn't really do it I'm sure I could have done it but I just wasn't I felt like making tiles um, really looking forward to Chris Capano and I think she's coming soon she's the one who um, I'll share I'll definitely share I'm gonna do that class but um, other than that uh, trying to keep warm it's freaking freezing here in New Jersey. Uh, <laughs> all right, you guys, let's show this. This is my little, I like it. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.